But I got to thinking, if this was my one option, and I only had one tool, and I happened to snap this handle by overstriking it, could I replace it with just this axe head? I'm just kidding. You didn't think I was really going to break my favorite axe handle, right? I bought an El Cheapo axe from the hardware store the other day. Um, I purposely chose one with kind of a crappy handle. The grain orientation is not very good because I thought it might be easier to break. Well, we've done it. And there we go. I wonder, I wonder if we could just shorten this handle a little bit, reshape this part of the, the, uh, the handle and get that to work. Oh, hi, Mud Monster. How was the swamp? Bad. Did you guys have fun swimming in the swamp? Yeah. <laughs> your face is nasty. Show no! me. No, don't touch the camera. But show me your face. No! Show me your face. No. You're swimming in the mud bog? How come, you, how come you're not as dirty? Because I washed off. Oh, you went in the I creek? I too wet. You didn't, you didn't wash off in the creek yet? I did, but. Oh, gosh. It's fitting pretty good. The top of the handle is going to stick out a bit once I pound it down on there. But I've closed up all the gaps minus a little bit there in the front. I need to split it just a little bit right here, enough where I can get a wedge in there and pound it in after I get the head on onto the handle. Because once I pound this thing on there, I'm not going to want to take it off again. So let's see if I can split it without screwing up my uh, my work here. That's about as far as I feel comfortable doing that. So that's seated on there pretty good. You can see the wood kind of curling, curling up where it's shaving it because it's such a close fit. This side's not quite as good. That's definitely gonna come off if I don't drive a wedge in here. So I've got to try to squeeze myself a wedge in there. I've got to make a wedge with, now it'd be a little bit easier, something to hold on to. Now all we need to do is figure out how to cut the wedge without the ax. All right, so I've got a sharp rock out of the creek. Well, it's not the best rock in the world, it's quartz, and that's about the best thing we have for rock cutting tools around here. I tell you, what, caveman, our ancestors would give their right eye and probably their firstborn for this axe head without a handle. Yeah, that worked good. Guess we could burn that out, but that sure seems like a lot of effort. We got the step wedge out, or got the wood out of the step wedge, let that cool for a minute or two, and then uh, 
we will pound it in with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, it may or may not have been a good idea to put that step wedge in there with so much protruding out the top because it split the crap out of it. The only thing left to do is to test it out, right? So this is a dead tree that's on the on three property. It's a dogwood. And dogwood is an extremely hard wood and it will be an excellent test to see if our ax head holds up. So can you replace an axe handle or repair a broken axe handle in the field using only the axe head and nothing else? The answer is yes. There is no slippage. I've been pounding, splitting wood. This is some pretty hard, looks like maple wood. There's been no movement of the axe handle on the head whatsoever. It's still really secure, despite the ugliness on top there. I think it's going to work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.